newest one was a, uh, a showcase that we did in uh, Los Angeles. Or can we count that as a gig? Yeah, sort of watched rehearsal. The very first gig we did was Aberdeen. Oh God. Music Hall, January the 6th, 2011, sold out. <laughs> And I think I still have the pair of uh, boxer shorts with the skin marks on it that I wore that night. <laughs> yeah, and it was a terrible sound. Uh, it was a terrible sound on stage, it was horrible. The, the sound kept bouncing back at us. Uh, so, uh, for me, I couldn't hear anything that Vivian was playing. Uh, I couldn't hear anything that you were singing. The drums sounded like they were in another hall down the block. <laughs> so I was having kind of a a little bit of my own little nightmare over there on the left, you know. It was a rough sound on <laughs> stage, I mean, it just it was, it wasn't a good show on the no. stage. But the audience was kicking no, ass. No, it was great. You know, that was, that's what saved the whole night, was the audience was up and running with us, right? So, um, if that if that hadn't happened, it would have been a freaking nightmare, but uh, the audience up there in Aberdeen were killer. I would have ripped up Jericho, but that's as good as us. The next show. Yeah, I mean, for me it was a bit different. It took me certainly three or four gigs to loosen up and relax a little bit on stage because obviously the first few gigs you could smell the anticipation off the crowd that they were going, you know, what the fuck's this guy selling? Is he going to be any good? Will he know the words? Will it sound right? Will he, you know, just, and, and rightly so. And I, for me as well, I was, you know, was sort of sussing out what the whole vibe was. Uh, it certainly took me probably a tour to, to, to completely sort of start to relax and kind of be myself on stage. Well, you certainly didn't show it. No, thank you, Scott. Good man. Thank you. <laughs> if I'm being <laughs> honest, and I am honest. I think it's all, you're always going to be a bit nervous uh, first time around, no matter what you do. Yeah. But you had the extra added pressure of, you know, stepping into that spotlight, uh, the, the hot seat. Right. Uh, I didn't envy you on that one, but I was, <laughs> I was really proud of you at the end of it. Oh, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> I always say, and you, you know, people say that, and you don't fill them, you stand beside them. And that's, that's what I always intended to do with, with that spot with Phil. It was, I'm standing beside Phil's shoes. Bound for glory, bound for glory. The last but no more lonely. Bound for glory, bound for glory. Bound for living